drop and step that leg. Um, I like to keep some space. If I step too deep, it's gonna be hard to hit this step across. So I like to have some space, and then as I step across, I'm pulling my head to his hip, coming across his hip. So when we're drilling this, just, to, just as a warm up, just be nice and light with your hands. Step, step, and don't finish the take down. <laughs> Where's your, where's your mouth? Either. I'm, I'm pushing right here. I'll step the same side, right? And then the first one. And then come here. Push into me. Try to think about it, push my shoulder into uh, Yes, like this. Now just touch it. Chin to your chest. Chin to your chest. Chin to your chest. No, don't back away. Circle, move forward. Yes. See how you want to back away? You feel like you have to. Yeah, it's just. Forward. Forward, forward, forward. Circle. Yeah. 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 Yeah goes or whatever, just make sure you're really focusing on your hand fighting. That's gonna, that just takes time in, in, in uh, positions. So here, I'm gonna roll this off, I'm getting right to the elbow. I'm getting to the collar tie with my right hand. And now most people will try to ankle pick by pulling the guy's foot around and then going. But if I do that, this guy, uh, I'm, at a, I'm at the wrong angle so he can down block here and take his leg back. And that happens a lot. Because especially when you're trying to force the ankle pick. So I'm going to clear, pull him here. I'm going to circle to the leg that I want. And I'm pushing this elbow down and across, and I'm, I'm leaning on his head. I'm bowing with my, uh, with my back here. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my toe, put my knee right uh, in front of his toe. So my, my foot kind of goes back here. I'm hanging on the whole time. And now when I catch his heel, I'm just going to shove my uh, collar tie, my elbow's in, my elbow's up, right, I have no pressure. My elbow's into his shoulder, boom. And now I'm coming back to this. Now, in uh, Jiu Jitsu, I feel like you can start sliding in to half guard or whatever, just like we, uh, I don't know how many were here yesterday, but uh, pushing that head down, like you, is that right? Yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like that's a good position there. So, here. Oh, collar time, oh, I'm leaning and I'm, I'm pulling his head down. If my elbow's up, I can't really pull his head down, he can sink underneath. So I'm leaning, my elbow's in, I'm trying to cross his head and his arm as I pull down. Knee goes right next to his toes, catch the heel, shove him off. Here. Can you go back to that position real quick? No. Like where you're holding my ankle? Yeah, yeah. So if you're here, and you have my head down. If my head's like not by this knee, that's what's putting all the weight on this foot so that I can't move it. Um, so if you pull the head like, let's say we were up here and you pulled the head this way, like I can get my leg out of there. But the fact that he's pulling my chin to my knee is what's keeping me planted. Another part, um, if I get this, if, if you get to the ankle pick and his head slips, boom here, I can shoot right up into my double leg. So my right knee, it's just gonna slide in. So, we'll start from the beginning. Boom, I clear this, I get to the elbow. If, you, if his le right leg's back, and you want that leg, I can pull the leg to me, but then before I go, I have to circle back and put that weight on the heel. And now I'm here, I replace it. If his head slips, 
my, my hand just rolls over his head and shoots right up to the double leg as my right knee slides in. And now I'm gonna lock my, anytime you're on a double leg, you wanna lock below his butt with, uh, just grab your wrist. There's a little, uh, there's a little space for your hands right there. Uh, so I'm locking below his butt. This controls his hips, and now I use my head position like we were working on. Um, if I don't lock my hands, this guy sprawls. Boom, now I have to fight him. I can still be slide in, but if I lock my hands, now sprawl, I'm not using any strength. Get him down. So that, I know that was a lot, but I'll show it one more time, and then you, I'll just have you guys go play with it for a few minutes. So I collar ties, I'm clearing this. I'm getting to my elbow. His right leg's already leading. So I can circle to it, keep my elbow in, pull his head and his elbow down and across, drop, shove. Uh, I pick his ankle and I shove his body back with his elbow. Okay, he wants to go over here. <laughs> then you go arm bar, Mora, toe grab, you got another toe lock. That's a good one. Is that, le is that legal? You grab his toes? It is when you do that. Alright. <laughs> you guys got it? Yeah. Alright, ready to go. Two are uh, bringing lower. Lower to his knee. His chin to his knee. Okay. Good. What'll help you too is um so I pretty much every group is doing this. Whenever I clear and I get here, everyone's staying ear to ear. Oh, yeah. So now you can feel all my movements because I'm so tight to you. Yeah. And I'm more restricted in my ability to like cut angles and uh, attack. Like I'm just stiff. Yeah. So when I clear, get space with your head. And then to hold this, you got to be a little bit active. So you got to pull and like pressure with your hand. But look, now I can move everywhere. Yeah. If I'm real tight, I'm like. You can feel, I remember yeah. telling you. Yeah. Yeah. I remember him telling that. Would I cover something real quick? Sydney. Sydney? Yeah, one, one second. Okay. Um, I was just talking with Sydney about, uh, he was asking me, uh, you know, like about moving your hands and feet. And I would say like my, my biggest philosophy and something that I would teach like you guys is when you're wrestling or doing whatever, like always make sure your hands and feet are moving. Because if I'm just moving my hands, the guy's gonna know when I'm gonna shoot because my feet weren't moving the whole time. So as soon as they move, he's gonna be on guard. But if I'm constantly moving my hands, pressure, fake, snap, like faking and snapping is like the key to moving your hands and feet. So like fake, snap the wrist, circle, pressure, pressure, fake, or snap, fake, drag, like just like constant movement. And that'll help set up your shots because you'll, you'll uh, have a lot more opportunities for shots. But if I just stand in front of the guy, and then I, even if I hit a perfect shot, He's gonna stop it because I've not been doing anything the entire match. So um, if you can get that, and that'll also help. Uh, the more you hand fight with somebody, when you break free, so I've been hand fighting this whole time. When I break free, you see his hands start to come up a little bit, and that'll help set up your timing of your shots. So that would get it. What I was gonna cover is when you're in here, and let's say I get the tie that I want. Pretty much every group is doing this, and they're trying to wrestle from here with our arms bent and our ears next to our opponent's ears. So number one, anytime I'm, I move, we have this connection and Jason knows what's coming. Like he can feel my body if I'm this close. And number two, I'm restricting my movement. Like it's really hard to move here and it's hard to pull hard, like get big snaps. So what we wanna do is like create some space and wrestle from here rather than here. Um, and when I'm here, like a lot of people don't feel like they can hold their ties here, but you just need to be active with your hands and look to like, pressure and pull. And now I can hold this tie up, and now I have the ability to move a lot better. And my arms are longer and not bent, so I can snap super heavy. But if I'm here and I try and snap, like, I can't get any leverage. So that's just a concept that I, I just wanted to cover because I saw a lot of people going from here rather than being out here and being able to move. Yeah. Yeah, fluidity to like, even, even do like, like when you're snapping, obviously, Right, like I'm doing my ankle pick. I'm obviously a little closer, right? So we're, we're a little bit in a ball, but if we start moving, allowing your arms to extend, it's kind of like, is that what you're saying? Yeah. 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 I feel like on the ankle pick too, you can be 
You can be in a ball, but you can be far too here. And it just gives you like a little more space. Yeah. Yeah. I would rather for the ankle pick, like I'm not I'm not in here squeezing with my ears. Like my head's not my head's not touching his head here. But I think that like the closer I can get to his foot here, the better for me. But yeah. again, it's different for everybody. You gotta find out what works for you. And because I could um, like our coaches are obviously the best coaches in the world, but not everybody picks up what our coaches do. Like Roman Bravo Young is gonna dip, wrestle differently than the way that Zane Rutherford wrestles. I don't know if you guys know them, but uh, they're like two of the best in the world. And uh, it's gonna wrestle different than David Taylor wrestles versus Kyle Snyder. Like everybody has their own style. So you just kind of pick up, you know, different things uh, from each technique and that'll be good. Um, I'll show uh, one of my moves called the Win Dixie. So if a guy gets to a single leg on me, um, I don't want to freak out and like, like uh, you know, freak out here because uh, the more that you get in these positions, the more comfortable you're going to be. So like, when you guys are playing around and rolling around, if you let people get to your legs so that you can learn how to defend it, you're going to be a lot more comfortable when it's time to compete. So when this guy is on a single leg, I want to get his head down and away. So I'm going to push his head down and start circling, you know, squaring up. So now, if you can, I would like to break his lock by sprawling, but a lot of guys have uh, really good grips, so you're kind of stuck in here. And then uh, a lot of wasted time in here. So something that I do is I'll slide in and let him have my knee and make him feel comfortable. So uh, from here, all I'm going to do is our knees should be pretty close within a few inches of each other. I'm going to step up my outside leg here and kind of like pinch my knee, not super tight because I don't want him to think that I'm hitting a move. So it's just kind of resting against his uh, shoulder. My outside hand's going to grab the hip. The side that he has uh, my leg, I'm going to grab his hamstring and kind of pull his knee a little closer and then I'm going to roll towards the same side that he has my leg. So I'm going to roll and as I hit my back, I'm going to try to get like a reverse triangle with my, uh, with the leg that he has. So I have to adjust my hips and hook his armpit. So watch closely. I hit my back. This is originally bent. I straighten my leg out and I hook his elbow here into his armpit. And now you can lock your feet. Um, in wrestling, you can't lock your feet. So this would be like the end here. I'd pull my arm out. And I would hook here and grab his elbow so that he can't turn into me. This elbow prevents him from turning in. And then if he turns away, it helps prevent from turning away because I can pull it to me. But I think like for you jiu-jitsu people, like you could work into getting your uh, like triangle from here. Um, I'm not going to show that because I don't really know what I'm doing. But Or you can kind of let go of this lock um, and sit on his head. And now you can uh, break his lock, even if he's locked here. Like I feel like I can break his lock pretty easy and then get into a Kimura or you know something from there. Well, I like this position here. Um, so again, single legs. Well, I'm gonna sprawl. Uh, I'm gonna step up with my outside leg, hook his uh, waist here, grab his uh, hamstring, roll, towards the side that he has my leg. Straighten my leg out and re-hook. So I go from here. If I just straighten and try to go back down, I'm not getting anywhere. So I straighten and I have to adjust so that I can get his armpit here. Now I let him go through, pull my arm out here, grab his wrist or his elbow here. And then when you're uh, looking to get the submission, and either go for the triangle, figure out how to finish that, or bring my butt up. So I'm right here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to push off this elbow, come up like so, and then I'm going to break his lock at the wrist, work for the arm bar like so. So Gina Morelli's going to get on my leg here. I'm going to knee slide in. Obviously, first we can break the sprawl. If you break, go break your lock. If I can get to here and spin behind, now I have his back. That's good. 
But if you can't break his lock, give him your knee. Here, like so. And then I'm gonna hook his outside hip. Step up. This helps drive here. If my knee's back, I can't really drive. And this helps keep his head and arm trapped in. Here, hook his hamstring. Roll, adjust, re-hook. Pull your arm out, right here. Give him belly slap. <laughs> Any questions? Yeah. So in like a legit match, they would be trying to get off of their knees and like trying to take you Bridge? down. Yeah. Oh no no, no like when they they first have it. So, yeah. um, can you get back to that position if you don't yeah. mind? Yeah. Um, right here. So, like, is that so why I'm you're sprawling so that they? they can't really like stand up and you're keeping that pressure on them? So originally, so he's gonna try to like, when he shoots in here, mm -hmm. he's gonna try to come up. So I'm pushing his head down and, and like taking my leg back. Boom. And now we're in this position. And now are you saying, is he gonna try to get up from here? Yeah. Yeah, so if he tries to get up, boom, I, go ahead. Like I'm sitting back on his head. Oh, you're sitting on his head. So like if I'm forward, go ahead and get up. You see that pressure? But right here, I'm trapping him and I'm sitting on his head. So now, so now sit up, right? So all the weight's on his head, unless he has a, like, an insanely strong neck, he's not gonna be able to, I mean, even if he does, he's not gonna be able to get up. I do have an insanely strong neck. Yeah? Yeah. You were telling me yesterday you had some <laughs> neck problems. So, uh, so I'm here, even if he's balled up, you know, kind of just like kick and find a gap. You know, if I have to lift his butt off his heels a little bit by grabbing his rib, what? You didn't like that? Um, so you grab, grab the bread, you know, hook here, and now I'm gonna roll through. Any other questions? All right, go work on it, ready, go. Try creating a little bit more angle. So, I'm here, I'm stepping. And he's pulling that back. Yeah. Now I'm coming across. Like, you're kind of letting him get out in front of you, and your head's yeah. staying over here. Okay. I want to get my head across. Okay. Yeah. Ask you because um, so when you're driving, that, that's why your head's like. You're gonna. Um, you want to head over here, and that's why you're angling. So it just like feels like yeah. he's breaking through. Because when he does, it's like I can't even like hold my head Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's hard when he pulls his leg. Yeah, he can left leg lead, so uh, it's a little bit more difficult on him. Like Bob's on him. I like to do things both ways, but Bob's on him. He's left leg lead, so I go here. And that's how it's way easier. Okay. Yeah. Like if he's a strong left leg lead, which he is. Yeah, so I'd go that way. So you still step with your right leg. So it's just one step, two step. Not, not a lot of those steps. Yeah, because you want him on his heels, and that's going to be what makes it a really easy thing. Okay. Hey guys, look in. If this guy's a, a real strong left leg lead, do it the other side, right? Um, it's good in it's good in wrestling to practice things both ways, just same as jujitsu, I'd imagine. Um, so if he's, if he's leading his re left leg real hard, I'm just, I'm gonna lead whatever, we're gonna, our bodies are gonna be like a mirror. So if I'm leading my left, if he's leading his right leg, I wanna lead my left leg, it's like a mirror. If he's leading his left leg, I wanna lead my right leg. And then that leg steps, boom here, pull myself in. So you should be able to do this both ways. So kind of play around with that. And then another thing is, if you're having a hard time getting inside tie, if the guy's on your shoulder, and you're having a hard time getting inside tie here to reach, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my head down to his wrist, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna grab his wrist underneath, thumb up, and I'm gonna circle here. And now I have uh, now I can get back to the shoulder or the elbow. Like in wrestling, it's really good to get his elbows past here, because if I was here, I could do the same stuff as Gino's showing. So anytime you can get the guy's elbows across or one across, um, that's really good. So again, um, working on going both sides. And if the guy's posting on you, you're having a hard time getting inside tie, I'm gonna bow my head into his wrist and I'm gonna thumb up, grab his wrist and circle. So if you don't circle, it's hard to just get off, right? So I'm gonna circle out of the way 
And now I'm back to the elbow. Cool. Yep. And a couple other concept things with this. So I don't hit my knees as much in jujitsu because it leaves your neck more exposed. So I like to work these shots where the footwork keeps me on my feet, but it's still really explosive, right? Like we hit our knees sometimes to get that forward momentum and go through our opponent, but we can still do that if we have good footwork. So that's why I really like this shot. Any questions? A little bit more? Um, yeah. Why do you, like, just wrestling, why don't you like playing the uh, knee down? Is it like because they sprawl on you easily? I do it in wrestling, but in jiu-jitsu, I feel like you have to explode through the person so that, because uh, the slower you go, I feel like the easier it is to like give up a choke or something, like, or like even like in a fight or whatever. Like if I can blast through this guy, like especially because most uh, fighters, they they don't have a solid wrestling background, I would say. So if I if I get here, like and I just like explode through them, like you can just throw them into the cage or you know kind of just slam them. Mm -hmm. um, but in wrestling, uh, you, you're not afraid of giving up a choke at all or like getting in those positions. So like I'll go here and then he take it back and I shoot it in and then. I'll uh, wrestle from there just to create a little bit more ground, but uh, like jujitsu, and I feel like their sprawls aren't as good for one, and their their shot defense isn't as good, so you can blast through them a little bit better. And as soon as he hit his knee, his head went right by my hip, so he's just in more of a position to get like high risk right. Okay. Um, whereas if if I don't hit my feet, I can kind of dictate where my head position is. And I tend to like to put my forehead like facing diagonally too, right on his ribs here. If I let it sink too deep, I'm set up to get choked. So I like to hit here. Yeah, I can't really get my, if his head's all the way up here, I can't really choke him, but if his head's down on my hip, yeah. I can get, I can probably sink a choke in. I mean, you still gotta, like if, he, if he's shooting to his knee, like you can protect your neck, but it's just, I feel like it's a higher risk. And another thing in a wrestling match, they have a circle that you can only stay in. So if you go out of, out of bounds, like I feel like this, you're more prone to go out of bounds if you stay on your feet too. So that's why I dropped my knee there. Mm -hmm. yeah. a, lot of, a lot of different reasons, so I would just say, if you can stay off your knee and take them down here, that's good. Okay. Any questions? Let's work it a little bit more. One, two, three. And then you can... Yeah. So that as, you, as I step up this leg... Yeah. He's... Yeah. Uh -huh. I wouldn't get away from like that. Yeah, I would start looking so you can get my head around. Yeah, so as I, as I come off, you can kind of bounce on the outside leg. Just in a position like this. Did I give an accurate fill? No, you're there. Yeah. 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 Ye